the power is ours. It's Leon next, the human liberator. This is another episode of Take Charge of Your Life, episode 118 to be exact, the PHL edition. Episode 118 of Take Charge of Your Life. Do not ignore the signs. Don't ignore the signs, family. All right, so this is what we're talking about today. All right, uh, so it's like one o'clock or what time is it? It's like 1245 in the morning or 1228 a.m. Uh, right now. I'm in Philadelphia at the PA airport. Um, my flight was supposed to be at one, I mean at 815, but it keeps getting delayed and it keeps getting delayed. And it keeps getting delayed. So since my flight's delayed, I figure I could go live and um, give y'all an episode of Take Charge of Your Life. We're talking about don't ignore the signs. And so uh, whether you're watching now or you're watching in the future, uh, I wanted to make sure that I gave y'all these power these PowerPoints, okay, and take a God moment real quick to express um, some of the things uh, and the benefits of being alert to opportunity. So, because when, when we're talking about uh, don't don't miss the signs, when we when we're talking about don't miss the signs, we're talking about being alert to opportunity. We're talking about recognizing opportunity and, and, and knowing, uh, uh, understanding your your spirit of discernment and and uh, developing that relationship with that clear, still voice that's inside of you. You know that clear, still voice that uh, lets you know the difference between. Uh, whether something feels good uh, and it is coming from a place of love or whether it feels bad and it's coming from a place of fear. So so, um, t- so today's episode to Take Charge of Your Life, when I'm talking about don't miss the signs. What, I'm, what I mean is uh, be alert to opportunity. Opportunities are around you every single day. Opportunities to increase your vibrations. Opportunities to increase your personal power. Opportunities to, uh, to network and build uh, uh, more harmonious, more fulfilling relationships. There's opportunities for you to uh, take full responsibility and become bigger than your problems. It's an opportunity for you to show your greatness to the world. Uh, while people are stressing out, you could be the solution provider. Every single moment is an opportunity. I don't want you to get caught up in the sauce. What's up, bro? I don't want y'all to get uh, so caught up in life. I don't want y'all to get so caught up in the day-to-day that uh, I don't want you to get so caught up in this this self-limited, super scarce belief uh, that you have about yourself, this super self-limited self-image that that, uh, causes you to think your thoughts and make decisions from fear. It causes you to think your thoughts from, 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 from fear, from worry, from frustration, right? That's a horrible place to be in. That's a horrible way to live. And so uh, to transform from fear to love, to transform from fear to faith, to transform from uh, the unknown to the known, right? To remove all doubt about the end, You must define your purpose. You must define who you are. You, like, like, listen, family, if you haven't clearly defined who you are and the purpose for your life and what you're going to be in the mark that you're going to leave here on the planet, then uh, go back to sleep. <laughs> for real. Because you're wasting time and you're wasting your life. All right, I'm at the airport right now. Uh, most people that y'all know, they get money and then they buy they buy, uh, what y'all buy? What people be buying these days? People be buying electronics, people be buying technology, people be buying new clothes and all of these other things. People be buying, people, people, think about all the things you spent your money on the last month, the last two months, the last six months, the last year. Think about 2017, how much money you spent, right? Now I want you to ask yourself, how, with all that money that you spent, how many flights did you buy? How many train tickets did you buy? How many bus trips did you buy, though? This is what I want to know. Because if, if the answer is zero, if the answer is none, then, then I'll ask, 
how many people have bought you a plane ticket or a bus ticket or, or a train ticket this year? If the answer is still none, then I'm here to tell you that you're doing life wrong. You're doing it wrong. You mean to tell me that you've been in the same city all year and you haven't got on a bus or a train or a plane or nothing all year? And you live in America? And you talk about you got, wait, you paying your bills every month, but you don't put nothing aside for yourself? <laughs> You just go to work to live? Is that what people doing nowadays? Is that what people doing nowadays, going to work to live? Listen, man, you gotta recognize, not only must we recognize the signs of, uh, and be alert for opportunity um, when things are, uh, so, so things can be better for us and we can increase in quality of life, we also need to recognize the signs of when the decisions that we've been making, our, our habits, our daily habits, are not yielding us the results that we, that we want. Instead of blaming, complaining, making excuses, and criticizing, you recognize the signs, the signs being your errors in judgment. Each error you make in judgment, it's gonna, uh, the, the, the exact opposite or more is gonna be recuperated to you. It's up to you to be aware it's up to you to understand. It's up to you to recognize how your actions are creating your reality, how your thoughts, how your self, and how your self talk, how your internal dialogue is creating your reality. When it, uh, so when it comes time, when it's like, so when, so we're talking about recognizing the signs. So what happens when someone puts pressure on you? What happens? What happens? Do you, do you know what happens inside of you and around you? Is that something that you're concerned about? Do you explore? Do you explore? What is that, what is that feeling that gives when you're getting ready to go on stage or someone puts you on, on the spot and you're about to speak in, in public? What's that feeling? Or if I told you, hey, here, read this page out loud. If I said, hey, here, read this page out loud. What is that feeling? Do you recognize that feeling? Like if I said, hey, Go live right now, open up a book and, uh, to a random page, and then start reading that page aloud. Does that make you uncomfortable? Imagine yourself, can you imagine yourself doing that? Can you imagine yourself reading two whole chapters out loud on your live social media? When's the last time you read two chapters anyway? So, so if you haven't, so right now, if you're recognizing, because we're talking about recognizing the signs and being alert to opportunity. If you're recognizing that it's 2017, it's, it's July, it's basically August, right? And, and you haven't read a book this whole year. You ain't read no chapters this whole year. You ain't been on no flights this whole year. You ain't been on no trains this whole year. You ain't been on buses this whole year. I'm here to tell you, family, you need to reevaluate the direction of where your life is headed. Because I'm telling you, you're being consumed into this box. You're, you live a box life, family. I'm trying to tell you, you have to get outside of the box. Just cop a flight, I promise. You on Facebook, right? Cop a flight, a random city, or some, a city that you always wanted to go to. You could know people there, or you don't have to know people there. You don't have to know nobody there. Just go. Play me on your Facebook, y'all going here, won't, won't. You'll be surprised who reach out to you. You feel me? Who cares? Don't you know how to meet people? Don't you know how to meet people? Why would you just listen? That's what, so I'm on my way to Florida right now. My flight's delayed. That's why I'm at the airport still. I, I was supposed to leave at 8.15 p.m. That drone got delayed to 1.46 a.m. Damn, 1.46 a.m. That's how long I gotta be here. But guess what? I get, I'm about to get to Florida. I'm about to get to Orlando. One of my homies that I just met, I met this, I met uh, Devante on the bus, because you know how I'll be traveling like 500 plus cities in the last three years for me. You feel me, over 20 just in 2017. Because wait, because I, I, I promote traveling a lot to y'all. And I want y'all to recognize the, um, how long it's been since you've been on the plane. 
How long has it been since you've been on the train? How long has it been since you've been on a bus? How long has it been since you went to a new state or a new city? How long has it been since you took a trip? You know, trips don't cost that much. For real, it, it literally don't. You can, for real, it's flights right now. This flight's right now to Miami for like $49, depending on the airport. Yo, you could get a flight anywhere. You could go anywhere. But anyway, this whole year, let me, cause what is it, July? Let me tell y'all something, all right? I'm gonna tell y'all something about traveling. Cause I've been to 42 states and seven countries, right? All right, now check this out. So, all right, so January. Okay, so check this out. I was, listen, so to start this year off, I was in Houston. I had a show in Houston, bring in New Year's, right? Cause I, had a, I was on a whole Texas tour. I was in Texas from like December 5th to like July 8th or something. I mean, January 8th or something like that. So I was all over Texas. So like Teletech, Dallas, Houston, Austin, all that type of shit, right? And then, so then I flew from Texas to VA. So I was in Virginia in, in, uh, in January, then I went to Atlanta, and then I came back to VA. And then uh, and then March, I moved to Philly, right? I moved from VA to Philly. And then since Mar from March, I went to California. So I was in LA, San Diego, you feel me, all that. Then I went to Arizona, right? And then I was back in Texas, right? And then I was in New Orleans. And then I went back to Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta like three or four times this year, right? And then I've been to Baltimore like three or four times this year. I've been to New York like three or four times this year. You feel me? This time last year, like if you check my Facebook memories, last year on today, I was in Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> you feel me? Tomorrow, I'm about to be in Florida. I'm about to be in Orlando. Then I'm going to Daytona Beach. And then we going to Miami. And then from Miami, I'm probably going to go to Atlanta. And then back to Philly. But who knows? Because I only got one way. I only got a one way flight. I only get one ways when I get flights. Because no telling what city I'm about to go to next. You feel me? And guess what? So I make money on the internet, and then I'm an author. So I have books, I always have merchandise on me. I always have merchandise. So no matter where I am, as long as there's people there, I can build them. I'll raise my energies, I'll raise my vibrations. They'll be drawn to me. And when they're drawn to me, they're, uh, since my value is organized enough, I have multiple different products and services that people can take some of me with them. You see? And so, I got a few speaking engagements, a few uh, stages to rock when I'm out there in Florida. But for the most part, I'm gonna just be vibing and building and connecting with the people. You in Florida, you feel me? KLX to Florida. I might even be out here for a whole month. Who knows, you feel me? Like, uh, anyway, this was episode 118 of Take Charge of Your Life. I'm, I just do take charge of your lives to remind y'all that you could become bigger than your problems. Instead of complaining, instead of blaming, instead of making excuses and criticize, you can draw inspiration from a person who real life came from the trap, evolved from the trap, you feel me, and lives out his goals and dreams, you feel me? I don't know how many people that you're connected to that's accessible to you, but I'm accessible, right? And I live out my goals and dreams, family. I turn my ideas to physical things. You feel me? I'm a sorcerer. I'm an alchemist. Plus, my community service is unsurpassed. Service to many leads to greatness. You're not going to follow nobody online that's feeding more homeless people than me, that's in more schools, at more elementary schools than me, more middle schools than me, more high schools than me. You're not going to find nobody online that's in the trenches in, in more cities than me. And I promise you not. And if you do, let me know so I can add them and I can connect with them. And then I'll pull up on their city. <laughs> you see? But trust me, yo. There's it's so much life out here for y'all. Don't, don't, don't go to sleep mad. Don't go to sleep blaming, complaining, making excuses and criticizing. Yo, I always say that because, listen, think about all the time. Think about just today. Just think about today. 
how much of your power you gave away. Think about how much of your power you gave away just today. Just by blaming. Think about all the things that you blame today. This is the reason for your unhappiness. This is the reason for this thing you've done, this external thing, this person. Think about all the things that you blame, that you make excuses and you criticize. And, and, and complain. Think about all the things that you complain about and you blame and make excuses and criticize. It's a lot, family. Each time you blame, each time you complain, each time you make excuses, each time you criticize, you give your power away. You have to know that. <laughs> you have to know that. You gotta be smart enough to know that. Did you, did you know that instead of giving your power away, you could take full accountability and full responsibility for where you are in the world? You could take full accountability and full responsibility for the space that you occupy? You could take full accountability and full responsibility for your thoughts, your actions, and decisions? You could take full accountability and full responsibility for your results? Did you know that you could take full accountability, full responsibility for your bank account? For your financial future? Did you know that you could take full responsibility and full accountability for your legacy? Did you know that? Are you gonna are you gonna leave that in someone else's hands? I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust no one. I wouldn't trust no one with my legacy. I don't even trust my I don't even trust myself with my legacy. That's why I gotta remind myself every day. Like I can't even trust my memory with my legacy. That's why I got it written down. You feel me? I can't listen. I go so hard. Check this out. Hold on. Hold on, yo. Hold on. Hold on. I want to show y'all this in my wallet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. I got something in here for y'all. I want to. I want to show y'all. Hold up. Look. Look at this. Look at this. I'm so serious about this shit, y'all. Look at this. Y'all don't even know what this is. Y'all don't even know what this is, fam. Huh. I just pulled this out of my wallet on the live. I'm about to put y'all on some serious game right here. Yo, I get so much chills every time I read this, this, all I did, it's just an index card, right? And then I took some clear tape, some thick packing tape, so I laminated this jaw. Yo, listen, I used to read this jaw so many times a day. Listen, it used to just be in my pocket, like right now in my pocket, in my pocket. In my pocket, it's a gratitude rock. Yeah, this is, this is a gratitude rock, right? So each time, this is a pyrite. But each time I, I reach into my pocket, they just said that my plane getting ready to getting ready to board is finally here. Oh, 12:46. That's a whole hour early. Yo, that's an hour early. Okay, I thought we had a whole nother hour. Okay. Shit. Finally. But anyway, this is a gratitude rock. If you don't know anything about gratitude rocks, it's a rock. You, you could use a stone, you could use a crystal, you could use a regular rock that just kind of doesn't matter. Whoops. I chose I chose to use this pyrite right, right here, right? Each time I each time I touch this, right? Each time I this rock is just so full of gratitude, love, grace, thanksgiving, honor, mercy, right? Each time I touch this rock, right, it'd be in my pocket. So I reach in my pockets a lot. Each time I touch it, I instantly think of at least five things that I'm grateful for. Mm. Mm. And what that does is put me in a state of gratitude, state of thank you. Uh, I'm so happy and grateful that all of my dreams exist in the energy form. I'm so happy and grateful that, um, you know, that my greatest version exists. Like, well, anyway, with what this says, though, I'm so happy and grateful now that I earn enough money to buy what I want to buy and help who I want to help. Mm. Mm, come on. Listen, fam. I don't know what you... 
I don't know what you you are doing with your life, fam, or what you mad about, or what you blaming, and what you complaining, and criticizing, making excuses, but I'm so happy and grateful now that I earn enough money. <laughs> Come on. I'm so, try that, try that. I'm so happy and grateful now that I earn enough money to buy what I want to buy and help who I want to help. Mm. Mm. I'm so happy and grateful now that I want to buy what I want to buy and help who I want to help. I'm so happy and grateful now, now that I earn enough money to buy what I want to buy and help who I want to help. Mmm. I'm so happy and grateful now that I earn enough money to buy what I want to buy and help who I want to help. Yo, guess what? Guess what? Guess when I wrote this, though? I was broke. I ain't have a dollar, though. Mmm. I ain't even have a dollar. I ain't even have a dollar when I was affirming that. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what I do now, though? I earn enough money to buy what I want to buy and help who I want to help. That's what you call magic money. It's Leon X, man. Become bigger than your problems. Become bigger than fear. Become bigger than doubt. Become bigger than worry. All right? I'm about to get up on my plane. But I wanted to let y'all know. Listen, it's so much. Listen. That's just on this one side. Because, ooh, I just. Yo, you don't. You. You. Like. Oh, I just got high. I literally just got high off my own goals and dreams. I literally just got high off my own vision of the future. I, yo, I literally just got high off my own vision of the future. This chill's running through my body right now. I just, my mantra, I'm so happy and grateful now that I earn enough money to buy what I want to buy and help who I want to help. What? Come on. That's, mm, that's freedom, family. Mm. It's Leon next. Hey, you feel me? A super nigga. The blackest nigga on earth. I mean, I would scream black power right now if I wasn't about to get, if I was getting off a flight, but I'm about to get on the flight, I don't need no issues. You feel me? <laughs> but listen, <sighs> let me give y'all something that's on the other page too. What it say at the top? Hmm, there is no evil. What a great thing to affirm. Damn, that's a whole nother video for y'all. There is no evil? What type of shit does this nigga have on this paper? There is no evil? There is no absence of life, substance, or intelligence anywhere? Pain, poverty, sickness, and old age, even death, cannot master me, for they are not real. There is nothing in all the universe for me to fear. There is no evil. There is no absence of life, substance, or intelligence anywhere. Pain, poverty, sickness, old age, even death cannot master me, for they are not real. Stay grateful.